Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to remove gel polish at home. The things that you need are foil and cotton wool, a gel polish remover. You can purchase this from Amazon, eBay, as long as you write gel polish remover, there's loads of different brands out there. You need a nail file and then you need some sort of tool to, to scrape the gel off once you've soaked it. So you can either use one of these, which is a cuticle pusher, or you can use an orange stick. If you want, you can purchase some of these, um, which are ready-made ones with the cotton wool and everything, but if you make your own one, it works out 10 times cheaper, so I would recommend making it yourself. I'm gonna show you a really easy way to make them. So let's begin. Now you need some sort of ruler. I'm just using a spatula because it's straight on the edges. You need to fold this over. Just, you can use it just to measure your finger. So about that much should be enough. So, cause we're gonna cut it like this. That's more than enough. And then just keep folding. Make sure these bits are sealed down properly. Now you can keep going, but don't make it too thick because then it's going to be really hard to cut. I'm just going to do one more. Because this foil is thin, I'm not going to do too much because it's going to be really difficult for me. Then I'm going to cut this bit off using my spatula or ruler. Then you're going to fold this in half. I'm just going to straighten this out like this. And then fold it in half again. The first time you try this, it is going to be difficult, but once you get used to it, you'll get faster and faster. Now make sure that this is all sealed down properly and then unfold it just this much. And then cut these bits off like this. Sometimes it's difficult. Make sure you push this bit down so it's firm and that way it comes off easier. Now the final bit, you put the ruler spatula underneath one section, close it over, push it to the side, hold this bit firm and the spatula firm and then you push. And that's the one there for you. And then just keep unfolding these bits, put it underneath. If it doesn't rip like what it's doing now, you can go up and down like this at an angle and it'll just shave it off. There you go, that took like five minutes maybe. It didn't really cost much. I mean, how much does foil cost? Maybe like a pound. The thicker foils uh, are more expensive. You just need cotton wool. And then all you do is cut it in half. And then what I do is I make this into three sections like this. So one like this, like a slice of pizza like this. 
and then the same with that one. Now this cotton wool you can actually half it so this you can use on two nails because this is really thick so one two three four five that's ten for you so it works out really cheap I got this I get my cotton wool from Primark it's like 50p for a whole pack I mean if you can't be bothered to do this then obviously you can purchase these if you want another thing that I got are these now I bought these off eBay really cheap just to try it and I personally didn't like them that much because if you see here I'm gonna give you an example if I put that over there it's just really fiddly to get these on so you sort of soak the cotton wool in the liquid you put it over and then you somehow slip this on <laughs> while I'm doing this if this cotton wool is soaked by the way the this the liquid actually drips down because there's so much pressure here um, it is okay but I feel like I lose a lot of the liquid because it's so tight um, but yeah I don't prefer these now we can get started on the actual soak off You want to put a layer of tissue underneath. The first thing you want to do is break the seal. So by that you just file the ends here. And then you also want to break the seal on top. So slightly just file on top of the nail. Okay, I'm going to do one hand at a time. Now I get my gel polish remover, get some cotton wool. Make sure this is soaked, it's got a good amount on there. I half the cotton wool because it's very thick. Put it over the nail. Grab my foil, put it on top. Oops. it like that make sure it's tight so it doesn't move I would recommend getting some of these. These are the heated manicure mitts. Before you start the process, I should have mentioned this earlier, you need to plug it in so it's ready and it's all heated up. These are what they look like. Make sure you don't put them one on top of the other because it will overheat. You need to keep them separate. And then you just slip it in there. The heat will help break down the gel polish a lot faster and a lot nicer. Some beauty therapists are against using these because they believe it's dangerous with the foil and the electricity, but everything is sealed up. Obviously you can skip this step. I just wanted to mention it in case you guys are impatient, want to remove it faster, more thoroughly. When I do put it in this, I don't leave it in here for 10 minutes, J just between like around five minutes, maybe a little bit longer. And yeah, so once this hand is ready, I'll be back and I'll show you how to scrape it off. I don't want 
Now, I got a bit carried away, so it's been longer than five minutes, but this should be ready. I started with the little finger, so I'm gonna take this off and bam, you can see that the sides have started to lift, so this one is ready. One time I um, forgot my gel polish soak off on for about 20 minutes because I had a friend over and we were just chatting and I just didn't realise I lost track of time. But literally I took off the foil and it just plop, it just fell off. It was actually really good. <laughs> but it's not good for the nails to leave you on for that long. The final bit you need to do, I forgot to mention this in the, in the beginning, if you have a buffer block, you don't have to do this bit, but I like to do it just to get rid of some of the base coat of the gel polish stays on the nail, so I like to do this bit just to get rid of everything. At this stage you can wash your hands, well obviously I'm going to do this one now, but once you've taken it all off, you can wash your hands, put some oil, you can put cuticle oil, um, coconut oil, olive oil, or you can just put hand cream if you like, just to put the moisture back into the nails. So that is how I remove the gel polish at home. So you just do the exact same steps on the other hand. Do both hands at the same time if you like. Um, so I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned some tips to make things a lot easier, um, like how I prepare the foil and, you know, with the heated mitts, um, just to make things go a lot smoother. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in, in my next video. Bye.